coolest dude in the game, especially in the past week, is Terry Francona. And here to talk about him is a player who's been um, in the organization for a while now, hanging out with Tito. It's Shane Bieber making his FT Live debut. Shane, how you doing, man? What's going on, guys? You hear me all right? Yeah, we got you great. How was last yeah. night? Oh, it was good. It was good. I was... I want to say it's been a long time coming, so it's good to be on. Thanks for having me. Hell yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. Dude, I've been chasing him for this? months. I've been chasing <laughs> Shane for months now. <laughs> AJ when made an in-house visit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> did, you, yeah. What, did, he, did he come up to you, what, like in the last Saturday or two? Dude, I, no, he was in the weight room, and I'm like, no, he ain't getting by me this time. <laughs> I'm like, I don't yeah. care if this says no media in the weight room. I'm going in there. I'm going. <laughs> I'm just my shot. Yeah, you're not. No, he, no, listen, you don't he was, qualify. Uh, you qualify as as player and media, so it works. True. No, listen, he was great because I'm like, can I get your phone number? He gave it. I've I've been texting him, and I feel so bad. But he he's so handsome though. When you look at him, when you I look feel at bad him, bad that he gave your phone. I mean, number. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I need some of those shady rays. That would help. Yeah, oh, yeah. we can hook you up with those for done. sure. Yeah. Done. Done. In By the, the way, did we talk about how he dealt last night in, against the playoff team? Well, let's. I said, how about last night? I mean, I left it open ended. Welcome so, back. Yeah. What do you got? for Yeah. Us? Thanks, guys. Um, yeah, it felt good to be out there. It was, uh, it's been a upsetting season for better, for worse. Um, uh, you know, never, never liked to go down with injury, but, uh, I didn't really care how many starts I was slated to make when I came back. It was more about just coming back, um, building, working on my progression. I think I'll continue to throw, um, and ascend just a little bit, but, uh, you know, that's, that's all stuff to be handled in the next few days. Um, just to kind of work things out and uh, get into a routine, fall back into my mechanics. Last night was definitely a step in the right direction, um, feeling a lot more like myself. Um, and it just feels good to be out there feeling healthy um, and competing, really. So it, it was nice. Last night's energy was uh, was great. It was, uh, it was not quite a playoff atmosphere, but it was close to it because Cleveland in the playoffs is, is, is special. Um, but with Tito's kind of – Last home home game and farewell. It was emotional for um, for him, for the fans, for the players, the entire organization. Uh, so it was nice to get a uh, get a a big victory there. Hey, so there there's been this ongoing, um, not ongoing. It's been going on since the other day. Tito Scooter, man, did you find out who who shit on his scooter, dude? <laughs> I mean, that's that's unbelievable. Yeah, I, you could probably take a poll in downtown Cleveland. There's a lot of people that want to take credit for that, but uh, you probably won't find that person. Yeah, they, they they put that on Twitter yesterday. It was defecated on. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there it is. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, his hog. I mean, he, and that's yeah, like a human. I think he parks it outside his apartment, like right on Fourth Street. There's all sorts of uh bars and restaurants and people you know he gets yelled at when he when he goes home and people know exactly whose scooter that is so it, it oh actually gosh. it does that's not the first time that's happened i think that's the first time it's been shit on but uh it, that's not the first time it's been stolen or uh and or vandalized Tito's have you ever ridden rich. it have you ever, have you ever hopped on it i i haven't and i definitely won't now that's for sure. <laughs> well no not, not now but. <laughs> I mean, no, that's a that's a that's a Tito only thing. No, nobody really messes with his scooter except for uh, the Nightcrawlers of Cleveland, I guess, and Kevin Cash. Kevin Cash, <laughs> yeah, Cashy does all the time. Yeah, yeah. they they uh, they do some foul things to each other, so uh, nothing's <laughs> nothing's off limits. Yeah, but he's too rich. Like my thing is, doesn't he have a, a place to park it or put he it? He should have a security guard. He should put yeah, it in his uh, apartment. Bring it upstairs. Yeah, he's, I, you know, Tito, he's all about convenience. Um, he See, just, listen, what, Shane, what Scott yeah. doesn't know is Tito wears the same turtleneck every damn day. Yep. The yep. same turtleneck same every day. He, yeah, like, it doesn't even matter if it's raining. He's riding that hog to the field in jeans and slides and the same turtleneck or T-shirt. I mean, he has literally, like, three turtlenecks. And they're all black, and he wears them every day. It's unbelievable. He's special. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Good place hey, to be in life. Let me let me ask you this: From playing this whole year, playoff time coming up, who do you think right now, from playing against these teams, who do you think the team to beat is now in in the playoffs right here? Uh, uh obviously the Braves. Um, 
people forget about the Dodgers, man. They seem to do it every year. Uh, like not obviously you don't <laughs> you don't forget about them, but you yeah. you underrate them. Um, yeah, it's, uh, between those two, who's in the America? The Phillies are are good at making a run. I don't know. I uh, that Braves lineup just is is no joke. Um, so, so you're saying that no American League team's got a chance, pretty much. No, uh, <laughs> who's, who's got to be the AL favorite right now? Like I, I've been in my own Baltimore. It's probably yeah. Baltimore. Baltimore. Yeah, Baltimore. Um, that lineup is they're going to be dangerous for uh, the next few years. That's for sure. Um, Baltimore, Baltimore, and uh, Braves would be a hell of a series. I'm taking the, mm. uh, or I can't. But I'm. I think <laughs> people would take the over in a uh, <laughs> The little inkling there. Okay. Who did you grow up rooting for? Did you grow up an Angels fan, or did you grow up a Dodgers fan? I did grow up an Angels fan. Uh, awesome. I would be remiss if I didn't bring. AJ, was that drop third strike thing against the Angels? It was. Yeah. Thanks for bringing yeah. it up. Yeah. It hit the ground too. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Really I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry that you're an Angels fan. Well, no, That's I'm gonna right. ask you. It wasn't, right. I, I wasn't too much of a of a fanatic. I've never been that much of a like a all in uh, in fanaticism, except for like probably Liverpool. Um, oh over, gosh, over in Angels and Liverpool. Oh. oh, who do you like? I'm a Tottenham fan, so I hate Liverpool. Oh yikes! They play right. Saturday too, I believe. That's actually a big match. I know, I know. Oh, we might have coys, to get going. coys. That's a whole different animal, but. Scott hates soccer. He doesn't like That's soccer. He doesn't, like, he doesn't like anything except baseball. We're not allowed to talk <laughs> anything about baseball. So I like rates. Well, I'm going to ask you this, and you can say no comment or you don't really care, but Mike Trout is kind of dominating the headlines with what he should do with Shohei probably leaving. Should Mike Trout ask for a trade? It's something not too common in the baseball world, right? Like you see it in all other sports, um, players demanding a trade, and they, they end up <laughs> – like getting what they want. They even come out and say, I want to go to this team. It seems that way. So um, maybe that'll become more common in baseball. I think um, I'm not going to speak for, for, for Mike. I have no idea what uh, he wants to do, but I'm sure he's got uh, a great support system, great people around him. He'll figure out what is best for him and them and um, and his future going forward. But if, shoot, if, if they do end up training him, it'd be quite the haul, right? Yeah, yeah. He could he could do the opposite, Shane Bieber. He could go from Orange County to Cle- you know you went from Orange County to Cleveland. He could follow you. <laughs> Cleveland, yeah, Cleveland. Been, I think you would take him. Yeah. It's it's not Newport Beach, but uh, it's in Newport Beach, Midwest. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what I was going to ask you. That's what I was going to ask you. You see all these Guardian pitchers going. Do you always have like all your stuff kind of folded in your locker at some point? Like when you know you're getting traded, there's a chance. <laughs> Like, are you always having a bag? Like, do you take two bags on a road trip just in case? <laughs> I joke about it, that's for sure. But I don't, I don't do it. Um, no, I love being here. Uh, I would love to stay for a long time, but um, a lot of that stuff, as you guys know, isn't isn't really uh, in my hands. I can't control it. So I, I was asked about that last night, like post start, if I think about it, and and I can be a little bit more unfiltered with you guys and. What I wanted to say was like I I got too much other shit to worry about, um, so uh, I'll let the cards fall where they may, and um, yeah, we'll see. But that that is a uh, a funny joke. You kind of know how it goes, and um, no, I, I just got one bag for the, for the time being. Okay, what about your next manager? So, do you have an inkling on who that could be in Cleveland? Like, it's really tough shoes to fill. For Tito, um, who Hale, Hale filled in when was that? Last year or the year before? Yeah, yeah every year, every year when Tito's gone, when he's out, got it's been yep, the surgeries. Yeah, yeah, Demarlo's phenomenal. Um, everybody loves him in and out. Um, he would do a, a phenomenal job. I would love to uh, play for him, but uh, we'll see what they do. Again, like it's, I guess, a blessing and a curse to be able to be like, I have no control over that. Um, whoever they end up deciding, uh, to appoint manager, I'll be, I'll be happy to play for it. But, um, D has done a phenomenal job every time he's been asked to fill in. I'm going to give you a dark horse candidate. 
Terry Francona. <laughs> you just said it. You said you spoke to Tito the other day. I'm not taking words out of your mouth. You're, said, you're, this is how uh, I misquoted gets flipped right here, Shane. You're going to learn <laughs> right now. This is how you get misquoted. But go ahead. Continue. Okay, like 30 minutes ago, AJ, because he's been around Tito, you know, not as much as you, but a decent amount. He gets a lot of Cleveland games um, in the last few weeks. And he was like, well, like, what if you miss it? You're going to miss it come spring training, whatever. And Tito's like, well, then I'll just come back. <laughs> Did you not say that? Yeah, but I didn't. He would have come back right to Cleveland. They're going to have a new manager. <laughs> it's like they're going to hire. Let's say they go out. He and wants hire, a year off. Yeah, I mean they're going to they're go out and hire Craig Council, and they're like, <laughs> and he comes back. He's like, Craig, by the way, nice, nice job the first week of spring training, kid. I'm back. <laughs> Beat it. Okay, fine, <laughs> fine. Then I'll rephrase. Do you think there is any chance that Tito manages another game again? You know him very well at this point. Like, is he that guy? Because he's saying, like, no, I'll be good. I'm just going to chill. Is he that guy, though? Or is he going to eventually be like, "Ah, I was bored. Bochy did it. Yeah, he's – I think he's going to get bored. Um, It's just a matter of of when that comes. uh, Baseball, like, he's been in the game for so long. Um, He is – it's cliche or whatever, but yeah, he is literally first one in, last one out. So um, he loves it. He lives and breathes it. I think he needs to take some time to um, get his body right and get his health situated. That's what he said. And um, I'm going to wish him all the best in that. But we'll see uh, when that stuff gets taken care of and when the dust settles, um, how he'll be itching. He's done it once already, right? Um, yep. He tried the, I think he was working for ESPN or. Uh, some other network, and um, and he couldn't do that. He had to be in the dugout, so we'll see. Shane, how important was it for you and Tristan McKenzie, for that matter, to come back and pitch this year to go into the offseason knowing you guys are healthy? Because you guys, up and down, obviously Tristan Mitch missed way more time than you did, but how important is it for you, both of you, but just me, mostly you, to come back and say, all right, I pitched at the end of the year. My last start, I just went six innings, one run, seven punches, no walks. All right, now I can go into the offseason healthy. It's huge. Um, that's a that's a big part of the the driving factor. But ultimately, like, I never really saw it as a choice. Um, that's just what we do as athletes. What we do as starting pitchers, like, you you get hurt, you're gonna work your way back from injury, um, and try and overcome that adversity. So it was nice to be able to lean on Tristan. Um, he was able to lean on me. Kind of, it it was just happenstance that our schedules lined up and. Um, you know, I think I ended up being two days in front of him and uh, with our rehab starts going all the way back to facing live hitters. So we went live hitters and two rehab starts and then two starts in the big league. So uh, it's it's a big, big deal. Like I said, I, I don't think um, I'll have a relatively norm, normal offseason, which is nice. It's a, a, a silver lining of working your way back towards the end of the year. But uh, I might continue this ascension just a little bit, uh, work some things out. Uh, mechanically throw a couple more bullpens um but that stuff like i said will get situated in the next few days um but ultimately it, it, it's a, a monkey off the back a weight off the shoulders to be able to go out there last night feel a, a lot more like myself um feel confident in uh my my arm and and my body and um you know kind of just let things fly and go out there and compete that's what i love to do is is compete um, was able to do that last night, and it just it just feels good. It makes it all worth it because it's not it's not easy. Where'd you do your rehab at? Where was most of your rehab? Arizona, and then did you play any rehab games? I stayed in Cleveland. Um, I didn't end up going out to Arizona. I know Tristan made it had a spell out in Arizona. He was down for a little bit longer than I was, um, and so that made a little bit more sense. Um, but I try to stay around the team. Uh, I try to make as many road trips as I can. Um, just to give and take in energy. You know, you guys know how it is. There's, no, there's nothing like it. So um, it's important. It was important for me to be in the dugout um, and be in the clubhouse prior to games and, and get my rehab in early in the game and, and still be with the guys. So uh, I stayed in Cleveland, and then my rehab starts were, were pretty local. They were in uh, – first one was in Akron, so like 50 to – 50 minutes to an hour away. And then second one was in Toledo um, with the Columbus affiliate uh, when they were playing in Toledo. So it, it was, uh, it was actually pretty easy. Yeah. But this is why I asked that question. What did you get the boys for spread? Because 
we're big on making sure you big leaguers taking care of the minor league guys spend a lot of time in the minor leagues. And now the teams, especially Cleveland, they buy all the food. They put tons of food in there. Yeah. Yeah. It's different is, than when I was, if it's different than way when different. we were uh, going up, right. Um, PB and J sandwiches and stuff like that. So, uh, I allowed, um, the guardians to continue that. And I tried to get something on top. I, in Akron, I got all the guys, I think like $50 gift cards to Diamond Deli. That's, I guess, where everybody goes to lunch. So um, I think it was upwards of like 45 gift cards or uh, <laughs> that. I, I, I just put a, I was trying not to put a price on it. I, um, but like try and take care, take, put money in their pockets, allow them to um, go and get some lunch, uh, stuff that's not provided by the team already. So we had to get creative. Um, but I was able to text um, the clubbies a couple of days before, um, same guys that, that I dealt with on my time up, um, and we kind of ironed it out that way. So that was nice. Love that. Love it. That's big time. Next time, AirPods, Jordans. Just <laughs> <laughs> Damn, man. That's crazy. After the big contract, then, then we're good. Yeah, That's for sure. Time. Next time, Another we're going to get a Cy Young next year. And no then... next time, though. No next time. I, That's I okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. Okay. No but next rehab's time. Rehab's expensive oh, and, uh, and exhausting, yeah. Shane, <laughs> Shane, before we let you go, will you do the Immaculate Grid with us real quick? Oh, God. Will you help me with it? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah. You guys haven't done it yet? We haven't done today. Not today. No. So we always, when yeah. we have players on, we always like them to do the grid with us. It's right. also I'm... funny to hear, like, well, I played with him and get a good story about whoever you're talking about. Yeah, yeah when, and when you go in the clubhouse, you'll know the answers now too. So you look smart. Yep, there we go. <laughs> you know who's all time is obviously is uh, well either Tito or uh, Sandy Alomar. They yeah, get the, Sandy. They get like the point five percent questions. Um, I don't do it daily though. You guys do it daily? Mm, Not every day. No, we do it like two or three times a week on the show. So let's hit the gritty so we can get the timer because we have a big clock on it too. That face for AJ there looked like he was pooping on Tito's scooter. <laughs> <laughs> All, like, All right, here we go. Let's line it up, baby. Twins, Tom. Reds, got to be – I would go Tyler Malley. Ooh. Oh, nice. Yeah, right yeah. off the jump. Okay. Like, good. And start the clock. There we go. Yeah, Let's start it. Yeah. Okay. Malley for Reds, Twins. Uh, 200K season for the Reds is probably Luis Castillo. No, 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 no not Luke, not Luke. Oh, no. no. no that's oh, you blew it. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, no. This is when we don't have any. Oh, this is why we can't have nice things. Yeah. Oh. It, it's like Tito's scooter. We poop on him. Yeah, we just pooped. It wasn't, it wasn't your fault, Shane. Don't no. you know this. But he was you. rolling. He was like, Luis Castillo. Tyler Malley. You know who I, I, you know I had for the Reds? Aaron Harang. The Harangatang? I think the Harangatang got too Why, why the long face? Because <laughs> I was born with it. <laughs> Wait, we can still finish. Yeah, no, let's no, finish. No. They're going to reset it. That was not us. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, it wasn't yeah. well, that's Hey, Luke happened. Maley, though, absolute beauty. You guys got to – have you guys ever had him on the show? Who? No. Luke no, Maley, uh, the, our incorrect – Kratz, that's you. Well, I mean, we don't just have like a log of backup catchers that are incredibly good looking and incredibly <laughs> funny. You have every backup catcher's phone number of like the last 30 years. So I actually <laughs> I actually I actually towards the end of my career, I wanted to start putting together a thread of the dudes that just go for one year deals so that we can drive ourselves prices up higher and also <laughs> not yeah. undercut each other. Yeah. Tommy. Yeah, you guys got to get him on the show. He's he's a beauty. Do it. I'm I'm in. Yeah, let's get him on in the next couple of weeks. M-A-H. Collusion, uh, Kratz. But anyway, all right, let's start. There we go. It's not collusion. It's backup catchers. Tyler. Sorry, I said Tyler. Tyler. There. 9%. All right. Pretty high. Okay. Good mustache, though. Great start with the mustache. Good stash. Castillo. 10% is good. Castillo. Luis Castillo. That's going to be Or do we want to go Harang? No, we'll go Castillo. Go with Harang. Harang, okay. Yeah, you, the best. You know me, Johnny C. He has Rangers. the best. No, no, no. Rangers for the teams. 200K season. 200K <laughs> season. Red. Who's doing it Who's today? Who's in control? Who is doing this? 
Who is orangutan? Look at, Look at that face. Oh. Joey Gallo. Ugh. Joey Gallo. Gallo, twins. Tw- yeah, okay. Yeah. Are we going for low percentage though? No, we usually wait, like yeah, to, but we like to. But we're we, letting you roll. Yeah, let's we let him let roll you with it. Yeah, you're, yeah. you're the guest. You could go <clears throat> Przinsky on that one. Oh. <laughs> I go for the layups. <laughs> All right, <laughs> Gallo. You could go for Przinsky on the next one too. Uh, uh, true. I'm like Eric Kratz. I'm everywhere. Ooh. ooh no, you can. Right. You can put me on a 200k season probably. <laughs> <laughs> Cincy and Braves, I got one if you want me to try that one out. Who you got? Brandon Phillips. All right. Could be sneaky because he only played there like a couple day games. 12%. Or ah. Oof. All right. What about like 200K season Derek Holland for Texas? Does he, did he get 200K? Did he get 200? Ooh. Ooh, let, let's, ooh. He had some good years. The Dutch oven. Yeah, the to- Dutcher. I know Torrey Hunter, Angels. That's going to be a big one, though. Yeah, I like yeah, AJ better yeah, for be that huge. one. Let's do AJ for that AJ, one. AJ. I didn't play for the Angels, dude. Oh, who is uh, Andrelton <laughs> Simmons? And how about I was thinking? Uh, yeah, Andrelton Simmons. Yeah, I was thinking Cabrera for Twins. What or, tw- or Twins Angels or Braves Angels? Cabrera, Orlando Which, Cabrera, Orlando. Yeah, there was. There were. I was thinking that Bears. too. I I wasn't sure. Angels strikeout. Oh, 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 that's a good get, one. And you get to see his jerry curl underneath. Look at that thing that's in the back. Great, <laughs> that is tremendous. That's a great headshot. Angels 200 Wait, hold on. Pace. Wait, hold on, hold on. Shane, you got any others? And then we'll mix in and help. I want to make sure they no, let's just let's keep play. rolling. Uh, you good? I'm trying to okay. Think. AJ, I mean, you, you, play, you, you were Braves Rangers, right? 100%. I didn't want to, I didn't want to toot my own horn, though. <laughs> One percent, a one percenter. Let's go. Wow. Angels Braves. Simmons, that nice. Simmons. He got Angel traded. Thing? He got traded there. You could do like a, a Alberto Cayaspo. He always works for that one. Oh. Oh. Point, Point two. two. Yeah. Love that. Two hundred K seasons. I mean, Rangers, you could go C.J. Wilson for Anaheim, C.J. Wilson for Texas. Oh, we got to pick the right one. Oh, Anaheim, you know, for Anaheim, you know we got to do for I Texas. I know Jared Weaver hit it. You know what we got to do for Texas? We got to go uh, – oh, was it Mike Miner when they when they dropped the ball? Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah, he told him to drop the, the foul ball to get the so – get, Yes, so he can yes. get it. Yes. <laughs> That is tremendous. Mike Miner is a beautiful human being. Oh, uh, there we go. Oh, oh. I love that how everybody's cool. got the wrong hat on, too. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> Except Gallo. Gallo's the only one, yeah. mainly. All right, 200 Ks, Angels. I mean, Bartolo won the Cy Young there. Mm. 200 Ks, though, you think? 45 yeah, this is when This is when he threw a little harder than he did. Oh, this know. was. Yeah, probably like the... 300 <laughs> innings as well. This was yeah. not like. In winter I mean, ball, CJ Wilson. Him. Who do you guys want? Are you I mean, you can go, you go solo. You could even go somebody. I mean, deeper than that. I mean, you could go all the way back to like Tomorrow Chuck Friday. Finley, like Chuck Finley, Mark what? Langston. Shane, you decide. Last one. Who do you want? No, I don't know. I don't know. You guys. <laughs> I'm, you're the I'm angels. With, you're the you're the angels. Man. 15, 15, 13 I'm pleased seconds. with my Mike Miner pull right there. Put one in. C.J. Wilson or Bartolo Colon? Finley, Colon. we're going. Colon. We're going. Finley? Hurry! Got to go Bartolo big sexy. Bartolo is Colon. <laughs> they didn't get him! They didn't get him! Oh, man! Oh, wow. He Not didn't even two hundred steroids. Bartolo got it. Damn. <laughs> oh, brutal. We could have did Shohei Otani. Yeah, that yeah, probably would have been sure. a high number. Yeah, man. Jared All Weaver. Right. We We suck yeah, again. Though. Yeah, we suck at this guy. Thanks for playing, brother. Yeah, yeah thank right. you. Guys. Shane, before we let you go, I just got to know, I see all your Guardian stuff on the fridge, your magnets and stuff, but I don't see your Cy Young Award. So where is that in the other room? That's in Arizona. Yeah, this is uh, a this is a rental. We had to move in. I moved into uh, Mike, <laughs> Mike Zunino's place uh, after he left, and that the magnet stayed. Uh, the, the Cy Young Award is in a... a Still in a box in Arizona. I gotta, I gotta get that thing displayed this year. Nice. It I feel like time. if I want something like that, like you, you can kind of see. I don't know. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, we've got some displays. But back here. I feel like if I had that, I'd like have it in my locker so everyone could see it. So when, <laughs> no, they, when they came to talk to me, I'd be like, talk to the Cy Young. <laughs> you not <laughs> talk to the Silver Slugger. Did you keep your Silver Slugger in your locker? No, gosh, no. Fucking monster over I there. Know. No, talk to the Silver Slugger. Was, Shane, this was worth it. Hopefully for you, it was worth the wait. Uh, appreciate no doubt, it, dude. Um, finish strong. Have have a finish. Fun he's rest. done. Finish I'm, strong. I'm safe for the team. I mean, I'm work fine. out hard those yeah, last couple exactly. days. Get ready. Work yeah, out hard. Instru- Get ready for whatever. instructional league. <laughs> <laughs> the fall league, yeah, that would be that would be a good way to <laughs> keep ascending. <laughs> Cheers, man! I might, awesome I might have on. to decline that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do not go to fall league. <laughs> Thanks, Shane. You're the man. All right, guys, I appreciate it.